Alright, what's up guys? Uh, it's the end of another week. Pretty good week so far. Uh, I did a lot of that Brady game zero. We're gonna fight Terramorphus today on stream at around 4 p.m. Central Standard Time if you want to come watch. Uh, I, do ne I need a little bit of farming before we do. We're gonna try melee first and then a gun build if it doesn't work out. Uh, but yeah, that video should come out tomorrow, probably. It'll just be the VOD, of course. I might try to just shrink everything down into a video. I don't know yet. But for today, subreddit time. I beat the world record for rocket jumping in Heroes Pass. Figured it was worth sharing. Okay, this guy is Zubis. This guy is great. He is ridiculous. This man is, like, incredibly good at what he does. Now, of course, he's playing Salvador, so he has a bunch of good advantages here for rocket jumping. Killing mobs lets him reload his other guns. He can, so like, sort of swap between, like, shooting and then swapping away to even reload the guns that he shot with. And this is just a ridiculous run, as you can see here. Like, it, it's just incredible. I wish that we could do this as other classes. But it's just the fact that Sal is just so disgusting. This is incredible. His name is Zubies. Z-E-U-B-I-E-S-S. -S. If you want to look him up, he's really good. You could also just come on the Reddit, look at top of this week. He's right there right now. And yeah, he's ridiculous. He's cool. This dude just dropped a pile of 94 shams and explosive artifacts. Okay, why is this so upvoted? Is it just the fact that there are... A bunch of random drops is that all hold on let's enhance i mean it just looks like uh just, just a bunch of shams and relics like yeah i guess if you're on console this is cool because it's kind of hard to get like perfect items if you don't have like cheat engine or like some save editor thing going on so good for you but I don't see why this is so upvoted as a PC player myself because, well, this isn't a very big thing. This is more of an inconvenience, really, like trying to get to that fast travel without picking up everything. Yeah, that's just how it is. Salvador from Borderlands 2. This is chill. Wow, this is really nice. I like this. Put some nice background music over it. You could, like, put some stuff in the background. I mean, ask the guy first, of course. But this is really cool. I like this. Someone who just recently started playing the Borderlands. Oh, this mission is so incredible. Okay. We could not get away with this today. <laughs> this quest is hilarious. It's so terrible, but it's so funny, dude. Yeah, dude. It's really funny. I, I wish, like, I actually ran this quest more just because that joke is really good. Found my old guide that I got at the book fair in school. Hey! It's the Brady Games guy that I'm following. Yo, that's sick. He has, like, the actual physical copy of it. Yeah, I had to download a PDF online. And let me say, it does not look this vibrant and colorful on there. This is dope. Cool. Nice. Man. How long ago? Five days ago. Dude, that's ridiculous. Man. Should have asked this guy for his copy. Cool. I like it. She didn't see me there. Oh, yeah, this happens. I don't remember what causes this exactly, but this is just a curse that you can have occur. It's so weird that this exists in the video game, but honestly on the amount of bugs that are in this game, like Tina's head snapping backwards sometimes, I'm really not surprised by this. 
Didn't know you could stick a turret to bunker, and I didn't know Hornet slash B would slap that hard. Okay. Let me see this. Oh. Yeah, I guess turret does stick like that, huh? Dang. And you know, yeah, this makes sense that it's doing pretty good DPS. I'm pretty sure that most of the Hornet splash counts as grenade splash, I think. And that's why people like it on accident so much, is because it actually gets buffed a drastic amount by like steady and stuff like that. But yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that you could do that with the turret though. Anyone know why this is happening? The only special piece of loot I have is Terramorphous class mod. Oh, uh, let me see. They're just playing zero. They got a boar hit. Uh, they don't know that boar exists because they're new. I'm sure it's very well explained in the comments. Let's see. Do you have boar? If so, there you go. There we go. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Certain bosses. Bunker. Uh, I mean like Hyperius if you're not at high OP levels anymore because high OP levels make his boar kill rough. Uh, just other stuff like that. Any instance where you can get two mobs to overlap hitboxes. Even like PvPing with a Krieg while they're using Release the Beast I think can technically do this still. Yeah, this is just a thing with boar. It doesn't work like it's supposed to and it just stacks up a ton of damage and then you just end up one-shotting things. It's nice. Oh, let me guess. Backwards head? Okay, she's looking that way. Looking at the player over there. Still looking at the player. Alright. And the head's gonna stay that way. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I guess maybe it is based off of player movement there. Yeah, he's like right behind her. Okay, so you could probably replicate that and just drive into Ellie really slow. You'd probably get the same result. <laughs> We're just trying to get a bunch of NPCs stuck. Nice. I, oh, dude, I couldn't imagine doing this. Like, how bored do you have to be in this video game that this is what you choose to do? Oh my god. Incredible. I like it. These, these guys have to calm down now and then? Uh, what do you mean? Oh! No, oh, this is incredible. Legendary hamster. Uh, no, like this, I'm, you know, just let them, let them do their thing. It's great watching the vehicles just fly out of nowhere, go over stuff. As long as they don't kill you immediately afterwards, this is fine. I, I think it's a great feature, it's totally intended, it should always be in the game, it should stay. How do I get this grenade? All right. Longbow slag singularity is zero fuse. Uh, <laughs> luck, lots of luck, an incredible amount of luck. Uh, maybe find a quest that gives a grenade as a reward and then farm that. Maybe you could go to a snowman DLC and farm that. Besides that, it's just a sheer luck pretty much. Uh, maybe like check vendors every time you go into a map, you might get lucky with one. But yeah, it's almost entirely luck. Today I learned you can get uniques from vending machines. Well, technically no. Uh, so they have a deadly bloom here. And the problem with the deadly bloom is it is actually a legendary in the game's code. It is purple. I know it's purple. But it's supposed to be orange. Or maybe it's supposed to be also purple in terms of like loot pool. But for some reason it's in the legendary world drop loot pool. So it's tracked as a legendary. It's really weird that it's a thing. The vendors don't sell uniques. This is a legendary according to the video game. It's still really weird that they did that. I don't know why it's like that. But yeah, this counts as a world drop legendary and not as unique unfortunately. That'd be cool though. Borderlands 2, how to farm the Varuk fast and efficiently. I gotta see it. Okay. So... What are we... Okay. Nice. <laughs> Good buffer. Alright, so... Step 1, go near this rock. Grenade. 
No. Already wrong. <laughs> Here. You know what? I didn't think I was going to open my video game for a Reddit recap. But we're gonna open our video game for a Reddit recap here, so just give me a give me a quick second here to get this all booted up and open for you, because I'm I'm just saying, there is uh, a, a slightly there's two other ways you could go about this, and they're just both gonna be better choices here. So uh, let me just open the game and we'll get right on that. So we're in game here. Uh, let me go ahead and get us over to the dust real quick. So let's see the dust. There are two better ways. Uh, both of them will require specifically a barrel technical. You will need a barrel because it has a slightly higher top speed when boosting than any of the other vehicles. So you take this. And then we have the less normal way to do it, which me and a friend kind of have been messing around with. First off, you get bullied by that guy. Right? So let's get, let's just clear him real quick. Yeah, he's gonna stay over there, we're good now. So the weird way, you go here, and then you can actually scoop up here from there. And then you're up on this rock face. You can come over here, jump over, and then, you know, you're up here where they are, and you're good to go. Uh, the second option, which is the more usual option, I will definitely say, is a lot of people like to farm from up here. They go up here into the gulag, they will spawn out here, get a car from this place, and then it's a very similar thing where you will go down this hill, boost, and then make sure that you hit this rock face here, and it'll get you up the same, and then you just, you know, correct a little bit, get bullied again, and then just, hey presto, you're back over here. So yeah, those are two way faster ways for anyone who is interested. Uh, there you go. That's that. Alright. And honestly, it looks like that was a perfect place to go with that because I think we are done for the day yeah it looks like it guys thank you for hanging out I appreciate it uh if you liked the video like it if you have anything you want me to do or have any ideas or suggestions maybe leave a comment if you've been hanging out and you haven't subscribed yet maybe consider that you know just hang out we're nearly at a thousand it's kind of ridiculous already and I hope everyone has a nice rest of their day See you later.